Hey, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So I want us to take a look at something I created uh, to solve a few problems I've seen over the years when I've been coding. So this is a plugin based framework that I created. We did create an MVC framework in previous videos, which helps us to speed up the process of creating websites, but we can take it to the next level by adding plugins to an MVC framework. So this is what I want us to take a look at. So this is a framework I created myself and I called it Thunder PHP. However, it's not available for download or anything like that uh, because I've been a little bit too busy. I wanted to actually deploy this uh, so you can easily just download it and use it, but I've been a little too busy. So I'll do the next best thing and we're going to create it from scratch together. That way you can have it as well and you can understand how it actually works instead of me having to write some documentation. Uh, because believe it or not, creating a framework is very easy. Writing the documentation takes even longer. So that's something I, I had to figure out later. But let me explain what we're doing here and why we're doing it that way. So. This is the homepage to this framework and it looks something like this. So if you look here, we have a homepage, which is this one. There's a login page here and there's a sign up page, of course. So it comes with a login and sign up page, but everything on this framework is a plugin. So if I go to the folder and remove all the plugins, then this becomes empty. So this is kind of like the way WordPress is where you you have this uh, content management system that you just need to add plugins, though they are themes, they're called themes, and then you can add plugins as well, but it's just one and the same thing. Um, of course, they do different things, but pretty much underground, it's the same thing. So we can just imagine it's something like WordPress, but there are problems with WordPress because it's so customizable and with a lot of customization or ease of customization, you lose some control. This is just how the natural world works. The more control you have, uh, the less customization you have. And the more customization you can do, the less control you have. So with uh, WordPress, you have a lot of customizing options, which means you have less control. You can be very specific with what you want, but it's very difficult. There are certain instances where WordPress just doesn't cut it. And this is why we use frameworks instead, something like Code Igniter, where you can have granular control over the thing that you are building, right? So I attempted to create the best of both of these worlds. So there's WordPress. I looked at how WordPress works and how a framework like Code Igniter works. And then I created something in between. So this is how I came up with my own framework here. So this is an attempt to bridge the gap between the two. So I want a lot of control, but I also want to use plugins. So this is what this attempt is. So let's see how this particular one works. So with the home uh, page here, I have this login, of course, and the sign up. But if I go to the actual folder, where this resides, you're going to notice that, uh, let me just make sure I'm going to the right folder here because I have quite a bit of stuff. All right, so there we go. So this is the folder where there is Thunder PHP. I've added this uh, folder here just so I can move some files, but the actual files are here. There's the app folder, which you can recognize from MVC system. And then we have assets, plugins, and of course the uploads folder. But then here we have our index page and of course we have our command line to here called Thunder, which is right there and then our HD access and config. So in the plugins folder, this is where everything is in here. These are the plugins. So if I attempt to, I can easily remove everything in here, just cutting all these folders. And then I go to my A folder here and paste everything. So essentially I've just removed all the plugins. So there's plugins in here and now there's nothing. So let's see how the framework responds to that. So there's content here right now, but if I refresh, now it tells me no plugins were loaded. Please add at least one plugin in the plugins folder. 
and make sure they are marked as active. Okay, so let's see, let's try and add some plugins. So here I'm going to go back to here. Let me just add the 404. So if you notice here, the names of the plugins, there's 404, which just the entire purpose of the plugin is just to show a 404 page when the page is not found. So now you can, with this framework, you can choose how many plugins you want. You can have one plugin for the entire website to represent the entire website or many plugins for each specific feature. So everything in this framework is a plugin. So from the admin page, so there is no admin page the way uh, you have, if you download WordPress here, you end up with some generic stuff like the admin page. Those are things you cannot change. For example, the, the same admin page of WordPress or where you load your plugins, you can not change those things because they come as standard. They come as part of WordPress. But with this, this is kind of like where you have Code Igniter where you start from scratch, okay? So if there are no plugins, there's nothing. You don't have an admin page. You don't have a login page. You have nothing. With WordPress, you download it. You have a login page. You have an admin page and so on. But with this, you don't have anything. So let's see how that works. So if I now grab this plugin, the 404 plugin over here, let me move it into the plugins folder like that. So I paste that in here. It's just a couple of files in there that are the plugin. And if I refresh now, at least I get a page not found. Uh, whenever I try to go somewhere, I can try to go to the home page. It says page not found. At least we have one plugin there now. Okay, that's great. And then if I come back to this folder where I have the plugins, we have this plugin called homepage. So just the homepage as well is a plugin by itself. So I can go back here and paste that. And once I move that, now I have a homepage. So if I try to go home, I do have a homepage now, as you can see, it no longer says page not found. If I type something I can't find, then it goes to page not found, but at least we have a homepage now. So there's also a plugin for uh, the header and the footer. If you notice on the other one, we don't have a header or a footer. So there is a plugin for that as well. So header footer right there. I can cut that, come back and put this here. All right. So if I go back and refresh, now I have a header. Look at that. Now, if I go to the login page, it does not exist. Sign up page does not exist. Home does exist. So the login and sign up are part of the authentication. Okay. So right now, even if I were to navigate to the login page right now, all the code for the login is not there. It does not exist. So in this case, I can create my own plugin for the login and sign up. And then once I create that plugin, I can reuse it in multiple projects uh, easily, which means it comes with everything. Like for example, the CSS, the pages themselves, et cetera, et cetera. So let's try that. It is this one called basic oath or basic authentication. If I put that in the plugins folder, now I have authentication. So if I click on login again, now I have a login page. Look at that. I have a sign up page as well. So it's as easy as that. And we see with this login page, it's not just a single page. It comes with all these like forgot password, etc., etc. See, the whole shebang is there. So right now, just by putting the plugin, I can actually sign up and have things actually working as intended. So it's the same if I try to go to the admin page, I don't actually have the admin page there. But if you notice, there is a plugin for the admin page in here. So if we go through this, you will see that there is uh, all these uh, basic admin, basic dashboard, some pages. If you want to create some pages, there's a plugin for that. There's plugin for posts. There's a plugin for a profile. If I want to see my profile and then there's a plugin for categories that manages them where you create categories and stuff. And uh, this is for the documentation. I'm not done with that yet, but there's also a plugin manager 
so that you can switch on and off plugins if you want there's a user role user roles for example there so let me show you some simple uh, let me put this admin thing there so I can show you how well uh, this integrates so once I'm done showing you this we will create our own version but for now let me just log in for a moment here like so and let's go to password I think I put in the wrong password there oh okay what is going on so this is the correct thing okay that is weird okay so that worked weird anyway so i had forgotten my own login and password. so as you can see that responded well so if i click on admin there is an admin page but you see here is only a main menu and just a few of these now there is no user manager so i can't edit users right there but because there's a plugin i created for that we can easily just go to uh, users manager for example and then let's put a plugin so you can imagine that where i'm getting these plugins is a previous project that i created so i can then just move the entire code that i created and just paste it in my new project and just like that my new project has new functionality so if you look here on the left side you see that there is no users manager but if i refresh now because there's a plugin for that i can click to now edit users and here all the functionality comes with it there's editing of users uh, viewing user details and all that stuff so the advantage to this or the problem i'm trying to solve here is how to quickly get started you see after doing so many projects with individuals uh, around the world and even governments I have noticed that a lot of things are similar in these projects and it's a good idea actually that's why WordPress is quite popular to have things like themes and plugins right but there are some drawbacks like I said with WordPress that's why if you want a serious website like something very custom you will have to use something like Codeigniter which is an MVC framework instead but the problem here again comes in because you have to rewrite your code usually from scratch with every single project because the requirements sometimes are very different and then sometimes your code is so connected to the particular project that it's hard to move the code to something else so this is an attempt to make code that can work in multiple projects where you don't have to actually type it again for example with this with this system right now I don't I've actually literally stopped creating the sign up and login system and the forgot password because I already have a plugin for it from every project that I create now I just copy from the old project uh, the plugin and paste it in my new project and that's done I don't have to do the login sign up because I know that is something I need for every project so it would be good to start from a place where I already have that it's the same with the users manager if you create users you will need to manage users so this really really helps so I want to help you guys out as well so that you can speed up your workflow and not always have to start from scratch you can create your very own plugins that you can use repeatedly in every project this gives you very portable code you can use over and over again so if i click on profile the page is not found but let's try and add that plugin just one more plugin to add let me just move all the plugins right now and just go but take them back here to where they they belong and now if i come back to this and try to go to my profile you see that now i have a profile viewer here where i can even edit my profile or delete my profile if i feel like doing so so this is very good plugins 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 so if you want to look at the structure here for a second this is how it is uh, this folder is what i created 
just to move those. So I'm going to delete that for now. But as you can see, there's the usual app folder, which has a core models and uh, the command line two here. So this is basic MVC. There's models in here that come with the uh, framework. And then there's a core with the core functionality there. But then there's a plugins folder as well, which contains the actual functionality uh, of the website. So pages. And inside, if we take a look at one of these um, uh, plugins, they're quite simplistic, like this one that's uh, 404. So there's only a few things here. There's the plugin.php. As you can see, this is the only code in there. There's also the 404, the actual page, the HTML, which is this one. And then there's a config file. This is the basic, most basic plugin you will see here. So this is the config file. This is the JSON data that describes the, um, uh, the plugin itself, right? So we're going to learn how to create something like this. Now you can, of course, customize it in any way you want. This is my own implementation of this, but I'll give you the basics and then we'll create one. Then you can see how you can move from there and create your own version. All right, so hopefully this uh, gets you excited about coding and possibilities. And I'll see you in the next video.